30 seconds. Title Gambit Program Number 1, VTR Number H64393, Part 1, VTR Date 15th of September, Transmission Date <coughs> to be announced. Ladies and gentlemen, your host, Fred Darnage. Thank you, Thank you. Hello. Welcome to a brand new series of Gambit, the quiz and card game for married couples based on pontoon, blackjack, vanty, and 21. Call it what you will. What happens is this. Our married couples get asked questions. For each one they get right, they get a card. The name of the game is to get as close as they can to 21. If they can hit exactly 21, they get a special cash bonus. If they take too many cards and bust, well, they've lost the game. And the match, whoever wins that match, goes onto the gambit board, and we hope the big money prizes. But enough of this. Let's now get on with the competition. Let's now meet our first competitors on this new series of Gambit. To introduce them, she's back. The delectable, the delightful, the thinking man's Muppet, Michelle Lambert. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Fred. Our first contestants this evening are Mr. and Mrs. Gallagher from... Livingston, West Lothian in Scotland. Mr. Gallagher is a welder and his wife is a housewife. Also, we have Mr. and Mrs. Cox from Middlebrook in Lincoln. Mr. Cox is a salesman and his wife Maureen is a QA operator. Very nicely done. <laughs> right, we... We say welcome, first of all, to the Gallaghers, Dennis and Sally. Welcome to you both. Thank Dennis, you. you're a welder. Sally, you're a hobby is singing. What sort yes. of singing? Classical music, mostly. Would you care to give us a little trill to give us an example? <laughs> oh, would you like One Fine Day? Or one Fine Day, yes. <laughs> one fine day we'll notice. Fine, don't call us. Thank you very much indeed, <laughs> Sally. That, that was super. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Absolutely delightful. So, good luck to you two, the Gallicas, and welcome Thank also you. to the Coxes, Tony and Maureen from uh, Lincoln. Tony, you're a salesman. What do you sell? Bread and confectionery. Fine. And Maureen, you are a QA operator, which is what? Quality assessment. You assess quality. That's right. <laughs> How do you assess the quality of this show? Um, Fine, thank you very much. <laughs> right, you see, uh, each match is the best of three games. Each game worth £20 to the winners. As I say, the eventual match winners mm. onto the gambit board. We have our running total as well, of course. That starts at £200 and goes to the couple who can score exactly 21. If it's not one in this match, it goes up by another £50. Off we go then, Michelle. Cut that seal, if you will, please. Offer the pack of cards to one of our gentlemen to cut the pack. The man doing the cutting is Dennis, and this being the start of the game, and only, of course, at the start. We'll look at the top card, the one we are playing for, which is a two. A nice low one to start with. Here we go. Fingers by the buzzers. What kind of fruit is a satsuma? Coxes. It's a small orange. It is indeed. Do you want that too, or do you want to give it away? Give it away. You'll give it away. Which star played Scarlett O'Hara in the film... Gallagher's? Vivian Lee. Good interruption in the film Gone with the Wind. Vivian Lee's the right answer. Do you want the next card which you uh, haven't yes, seen? Please. You'll take it to go with your two. You have a nine. Puts you on to, an, to 11, which is a good place to be. What is a gooseberry fool? <coughs> Gallagher's? A dessert. It is. A dessert, a sweet or pudding. Gooseberries and cream. 11 you have. They haven't started. Do you want the next card? Yes, please. Looking for a 10 or a picture card to give you a sensational start. 21 and running total. It is Michelle. They've done it! Put your card, it's worth 10, 21. <laughs> Absolutely amazing start by the Gallaghers. They've won the running total straight away. That's never, ever happened before in, I don't know, six or seven series of Gambit. £200 in their pockets, £20 for winning the game as well. £220, they're into a 1-0 lead. And also, of course, now important for the Coxes, Tony and Maureen, to win this one, to stay with us. Here we go. Who was the wife of Napoleon I? <coughs> Gallagher's. 
Josephine. Yes, tonight, Josephine. Uh, I should have shown them that card, shouldn't I? You see, nerve showing already. Six, do you no, want that six you. or not? No, you don't. You, you want to give it away. No. Tactics creeping in here. What does ACAS try to do? A-C-A-S, ACAS, COXES. It's a conciliation service between unions. That's right, to settle the industrial disputes. Mm -hmm. Yes, good answer. Six you have, they haven't started. Do you want the next card? Yes, please. To go with your six you have, put you on to ten. That is a good place for you to be. What is meant by the Latin phrase bona fide? <coughs> Gallagher's. In good faith or true. Yes, genuine in good faith. Good answer. Ten they have, you haven't started. Do you want the next card? Yes, please. You do, and you've got... A nine, which would have been quite useful to them. If you were using secateurs, what would you be likely to be coxes? Pruning roses. Yes, always. what would you be doing? Gardening, yeah. pruning, as pruning you say. Roses. Ten you have, nine they have. Do you want the next card? Yes, please. Looking for an ace to give you 21 and a running total for you. It is an ace, I do not believe it. <laughs> two running totals in the opening two games of the series. Absolutely amazing. £200 for you as well. In fact, that's £220 that they've got now, and it's one game all. This is ridiculous, isn't it? What do you think of the show so far? <laughs> one all. Third final deciding game to play. Michelle, let's look at the top card, please. That's the one we're playing for, the five. Winners of this game onto the Gambit board. In athletics, which race is 26 miles, 380... <laughs> Gallagher's. The marathon. There's some very good interrupting here tonight. 26 miles, 385 yards long. Yes, of course, the marathon. Do you want that five? No, thank you. No, thank you. You'll give it away. Tripoli is the capital of which country? <coughs> Cox's. Uh, North... Uh, Algeria. Is the North wrong Africa. answer. I'll offer that to the Gallagher's. Libya, uh, Libya. Is the right answer. Five they have. You haven't started. Yes, I'll take the next one. You'll take it and you've got a queen. She's worth ten. The American president, Harry S. Truman, what did the S stand for? S. <coughs> Gallagher's. It didn't really stand for anything. You're absolutely right. It didn't stand for anything. It was just an initial. Well done. Queen you have, five they have. Do you want the next card? Yes, please. If it's an ace, it'll give you another running total, and I will probably have a seizure on the spot. <laughs> it couldn't be, Michelle, Neither. could it? No, it couldn't. Not this time. Puts you on to 12. You could stick on 12 if no. you wanted. You'll Thanks. press on. What is the purpose of a séance? A séance, Gallagher's. Uh, to consult with uh, the departed. Yes, so or to have a chat with John Benson. Five. <laughs> Twelve you have, five. Five they have. What do you want to do? This is difficult. I'll now. take the next card. You'll take you. it now. Nine gives you 21 and another running total. Under nine is fine, but a ten or a picture card, you've bust and they've beaten you. Michelle. It's too many, it's a 10, you have bust. It means the game and the match, ladies and gentlemen, has been won by the Coxes, Tony and Maureen. <laughs> Which means, sadly, of course, ladies and gentlemen, we lose the Gallicas, Dennis and Sally. A short visit, but a highly profitable one, £220. Have you enjoyed playing Gambit? Super, Very much so. Yes. We've enjoyed having you. Nice, Thank bright, you. happy couple. Ladies and gentlemen, the Gallicas, Dennis and Sally. Well done to them. <laughs> the Coxes, though, Tony and Maureen are still with us. It is their turn to come and play the Gambit board. How will they do on there? Will they take away one of the star prizes? Will they take away armfuls of other nice prizes? Or will they too, take too many cards and bust and lose the lot? They'll find out, I'll find out, you'll find out in just a couple of minutes from now. <laughs> Right, 30 seconds. Title, Gambit Program Number 1, VTR Number H64393, Part 2, VTR Date, 15th of September, Transmission Date to be announced.
Welcome back to Gambit, where the Coxes, Tony and Maureen, having just cleared us out of £240 in cash, are now about to come and play the Gambit Board. Well, there we are, those 21 numbers hiding the secrets of 21 lovely prizes. And just a few of those secrets we can learn now from JB, John Benson. Thank you, Fred. And to begin this new series, how about this beautiful 44-piece canteen of cutlery? Or these matching, ladies and gents, gold-plated quartz watches? For the kitchen, this fast-working microwave oven, giving you that almost instant meal, perhaps contained in this useful picnic hamper. And behind number 21, our choice of star prizes. First, the latest version of the car that changed the world of motoring incorporating the very latest and new features inside, outside and under the bonnet. A delight to drive and truly a market leader in the economical small car field. Or how about a holiday? Two weeks in Mauritius, staying at La Piroc Hotel right on the mile-long beach drenched in sunshine. Of course, there'll be a chance to sample the many local dishes of exotic fruits and mouth-watering seafoods. This very beautiful and friendly island will blink along in your memory. So, to super star, star prizes, and all they want, of course, is the magical 21. Michelle, what we want is for you to cut that seal and offer the pack, if you will, to Tony to cut it to make sure of absolutely fair play. And Maureen, from you, please, now, number 1 to 20. Number 7. Number 7. Number 7 to holiday. A long weekend on the fabulous rock of Gibraltar. Staying at the Holiday Inn just off the world-famous Main Street. A wonderful break for two. <laughs> when you got out of bed this morning, did you realise it was going to be such a miserable day? <laughs> Not a bad little prize for starters, that, is it? Let's see what the cards like to go with it, Michelle. It's a good one. Is it a good one? You've got that feeling. It's about the worst card you could possibly have drawn out. Never mind, it's a two. Tony now, please. A number from you. I think I've got 13. Please. Number 13. Number 13 is a brown pigskin executive briefcase. Leather line with a filing cabinet in the lid. Just the job for the successful businessman. So, that's your holiday. And the bank to put a few things in. And the card to go with the two, Michelle, is? This is a good one. This is the good one, is it? Well, that puts them on to 12, which is actually rather a difficult one because you can stick on 12 and keep your weekend break in Gibraltar and the bag, or you can think there's a long way between 12 and 21. The choice has to be yours. Go on. Are you sure? Okay. That's brave, and I hope it pays off for you. Maureen, please, a number now from you. Number 12. Number 12. Number 12. This is for the cook in a hurry. This will make easy work of any meal. A fast-working microwave oven worth 290 pounds. Well, this game, if you like, is about taking a gamble. They have gambled. I really hope it pays off for them because they are gamblers. Lovely microwave oven and those other prizes. They have 12. Nine gives them 21 and choice of star prizes. Under nine is fine. Ten or a picture card and they bust and they've lost the lot. Michelle, it's all in your hands. I hope it's It fine. is. 12 and three puts them on to 15. So, do you stick on 15 and keep your lovely prizes? Or do you think it really is our lucky day? We'll press on. <laughs> Sticky saying, Stick. she agrees, they stick on 15. I can't say I blame you, so you keep your microwave oven, the briefcase and the holiday for two in Gibraltar. Lovely prizes, aren't they, ladies and gentlemen? Would we... Wait! No, wait! We're not really allowed to do this, but would you actually like, the game is over, to see the next card to see what they would have got? Would you? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. Yes, they would. <laughs> Michelle, it's 15, and they made absolutely the right decision. Well done to the Coxes. Didn't they do the right thing there? Good. So, £240 in cash, all those lovely prizes. What is more, you're still with us on the game of Gambit. In fact, they now meet the challenge of a new couple who want to play the game. Michelle, now please tell us, if you will, who the new people are. They are Dennis and Sue Hurley. And they come from a place called Upton St. Leonard's in Gloucester. Mr. Hurley is an electrician and Mrs. Hurley is a civil servant. Well done. <laughs> what you can... Welcome to the Hurleys, Dennis and Sue from, from Gloucester. Dennis, an electrician, as, uh, as we've just been told. And Sue, a civil servant. Do you work in the VAT office? No. Do you work in the income tax office? No. Fine, you can stay. Good luck on Gambit. Right, let's get on with the game. Michelle, please, 
cut the seal, if you will, and let me just tell you, of course, it's the best of three games once again, and that running total, of course, to be won for the couple who can score exactly 21. This being the start of the game, Michelle, we'll look at the top card, the one we're playing for. It's a four. If you're ready, then, fingers by the buzzers in this brand new match. What are polyanthus? <coughs> Hurley's in very quickly. Flowers. Yes, small plant or flowers. Do you want the four? No, we'll give it away. You'll give that away. Let's have our musical question now, shall we? Listen to this uh, piece of music played for us by the maestro himself, Peter Fenn. Then I'll ask you a question about it. Peter. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Very nicely played indeed. Right. The question to go with that is, which famous entertainers? Coxes. Yes, do you associate with that tune? It had to be, didn't it? Although I thought it was Mike and Bernie Winters, but we won't go into that now. <laughs> Fine. Four you have, the other side haven't scored. Do you want the next card? Yes, please. To go with your four you've got. That puts you on to 14, because that's a picture card and it's worth 10. You can stick on 14 if you want to. Keep going. You'll Carry keep on. going. OK. Collared, turtle and ring are all types of which bird? Coxes. Ducks. 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 No? No. No, I'll offer that to the Hurleys. Dove. Dove, you said? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Doves they are indeed. Right, 14 they have. You haven't started. Do you take the next card or do you try and bust them? Give it to them. If you give them seven, you give them uh, 21 and another <laughs> running total. If you give them... Eight or more, you bust them. If you give them under seven, they're okay. My God, it gets complicated. Right, Michelle, let's have a look at it. They've got to go with their 14. Five puts them on to 19. Do you stick on 19? Stick, please. They stick on 19. The other side, the Hurleys, have to beat 19. Three questions for each one they get right. They can have a card. Here's your first question. Concentrate very hard now. In Milan, what is La Scala? No. Food? No, it's an opera house. Concentrate. In literature, how many Arabian Nights were there? Seven. No. Forty. No, oh. a thousand and one. <laughs> You're worse than Michelle Lambert. Concentrate. It's too late, you can't catch up with them. Never mind. It means the winners of the first game in this match are the Coxes, Tony and Maureen. <laughs> so... The Coxes then, Tony and Maureen, into a 1-0 lead. Another £20 uh, for them. They're on £260 now. And, of course, important for the Hurleys, Dennis and Sue, to win this one, to stay with us. You can do it nice and relaxed. Let's look at the top card, Michelle. It is an 8. Lupine refers to which kind of animal? <coughs> Hurleys. A turtle. No, I'll offer that to the Coxes. Lupine? Yes. Long-legged? Long-legged sort of animal? Mm, can't really accept that. Michelle, have you got any ideas? Lupine? You're really silly. Lupines are what grow in my mum's front garden. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wolf family. For what would you use an abacus? <coughs> Hurleys. Counting. Yes, you would indeed. Do you want the eight or not? Yes, yes please. please. OK, that counts towards your total. What sign of the zodiac is sometimes known as... Right. <laughs> well, you've only got 12 choices. You didn't really mean to press then, did you? No. Give you another chance. What sign of the zodiac is sometimes known as the fish? <coughs> Coxes. Aries. It's the wrong answer. No. Hurleys. <laughs> it's the right answer. I'm having so much trouble with this slot here tonight. It's unbelievable. Pisces is the right answer. Do you want the next card? Yes, please. To go with your eight you've got. That's a bit more like it. Puts you on to 18. Do you stick on 18? Yes, yes please. OK. The other side then have to beat 18 to draw level. <coughs> it's not good enough. Three questions for each one they get right. They can have a card. Here we go. In which London institution is the Lutine Bell? It's in, the, uh, in Lloyd's. It is in Lloyd's. Your first card with 18 to beat is a six. <laughs> which people's collection of laws is known as the Talmud? The Talmud. <laughs> Israelis. Jewish. I can accept that, yes, the Jewish. Fine. Six you have, 18 to beat. To go with your six, you get another six. Puts you on to 12. One question left. You must get it right. In which country is Casablanca? North Africa. I want to know in which... 
specific country? Morocco. Is the right answer. 12, you have 18, you have to beat. 10 is too many and will bust you. 12 and 4 puts them on to 16. It's not good enough. It means the winners of the second game in this match of the hurl is Dennis and Sue. It's not as bad as all that. You're enjoying yourself, really. Well done to the Hurleys, then, Dennis and Sue, because they won a game and they won themselves £20 as well. And it's nicely balanced now. It's one game all. Third final deciding game to play. Winners of that onto the gambit board. Let's look at the top card, Michelle. It's the king. It's worth 10. Who wrote the poem, The Charge of the Light Brigade? Coxes? Alfred Lord Tennyson. He did. Well done. Do you want the king? Yes, please. He's yours. What or which is the longest single-span bridge in the world? Coxes. The Humber, Humber Bridge, bridge. is yeah. the right answer. Do you want the next card? <laughs> yes, please. You're looking for another ace to give you a 21 and running total. It is an ace. <laughs> I do not believe it. <laughs> I do not believe it. That's absolutely extraordinary. They've done it again. And furthermore, they won the match as well. It means, sadly, of course, that we've got to lose the Hurleys, Dennis and Sue. But you played well and you've won 20 pounds. Have you enjoyed the game? Yes. Thank, thank you very much for coming and playing Gambit. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hurleys, Dennis and Sue. <laughs> the Coxes, though, they are incredible, aren't they? Tony and Maureen. £480 in cash they've so far won, plus some lovely prizes on the Gambit board. And what is more, they're coming now with me to play the Gambit board for the very last time. Looking, of course, for that uh, magical number of 21 and choice of star prizes, that lovely motor car, or if they don't fancy that, that superb two-week holiday in Mauritius. Right, Michelle, let's see what they can do this time. This is their last time because, of course, they'll have played the gambit board twice, cutting that seal delicately, offering that pack for the very last time to Tony Cox to cut it. And away we go. Maureen, please, a number now from you, 1 to 20, but not a number that has already been taken. Number nine. Please. Number nine. Number nine. This has got to be useful. Any home will sparkle when this easy-to-use floor polish has done its job. Well, that's Tony's weekends taken care of. <laughs> Fine. And the card to go with that is not a bad one. I have seen worse. Tony, now, please, a number from you. Number three, please. Number three. Number three. You want something to keep the whole family amused this time. A dartboard in its own case, plus two sets of darts. <laughs> OK, six they've already scored. Let's see if this card is going to be right on target. Ideally, I suppose, a four or a five, Michelle. Can you manage that for us? Well, all right, it's possible. It puts them on to 13. Now, do you stick on 13 and keep your floor polisher and your dart set, or again, do you think there's a long way between 13 and 21? Today has got to be a lucky day. Carry on. Carry on. You will carry on. I don't blame you with the way your luck's going. Maureen, now, please, a number from you. Number five. Number five. Number five. This would grace any house, a beautiful 44-piece canteen of cutlery in a mahogany box, all worth 390 pounds. So that is a nice prize, 390 pounds, plus the dart set, plus the floor polisher. 13 you have at the moment. Eight gives you 21 and choice of star prizes. Under eight keeps you in the game or keeps the prizes for you. More than eight and you have bust. Do you have anything to say in finally or not? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Eight is what they're looking for to give them 21 and choice of star prizes. Michelle, it is 13 and... Oh! It's too many. It's put them over the top. It's put them on 23. They bust. So you lose the floor polisher, the dart set, and the canteen of cutlery. But nonetheless, you keep that holiday for two in Gibraltar, the briefcase, the microwave oven, and £480 in cash. It's not been a bad program for not you, has it? Thank you. Any Thank you. thoughts on how you might spend that £480? No, not really, not, really, not yet. Not <laughs> but you've enjoyed yourselves. Yes, very much. Thank well, you. the rules of the game say once you've played the gambit board twice, you have to leave us. Played it, you have. And my goodness me, you've played it very well indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, the Coxes, Tony and Maureen. There it is, the end of our very first programme in a brand new series of Gambit, and what an extraordinary programme it's been, because we've had three running totals. Michelle, that's never happened before, surely, it's has it? It's never happened, but it's been really good. And it can't go on like this, can it? Oh, yes. 
And we can't go on meeting like this until next week. I hope very much you'll join us next week for another edition of Gambit. Until then, from all of us here, including John Benson, Peter Fenn, Michelle Lambourne and myself, and all the guys here, see you next week. Have a good week. Until next week, bye-bye for now. Bye.